Welcome, this video series is called Microsoft Outlook for EKU. I have three main objectives in presenting this video series. First of all, we'll talk about the difference between Microsoft Outlook, the client application, and the Microsoft Exchange server, which allows that application to run at top performance. Second, we'll talk about the various components of Outlook. You may or may not know that it is a lot more than email and calendars. And lastly, we'll talk about the top tasks and problems that you may encounter as a user of the Microsoft Outlook system. So before we get started, I really want to differentiate Microsoft Outlook, the program that sits on your computer, and the Exchange Server, which is something that is housed in our Perkins building and allows you to use Outlook and all the features that it contains. So you could load Microsoft Outlook on almost any Windows machine in the world and use it to a certain extent. However, without the Exchange Server, which is really a communication server, all you're really going to be able to do is send emails to people, and that's assuming you have an email server that you have given to the Outlook program, so it can actually send those emails out. And you'll be able to use the features internally. So you could make a calendar for yourself, or you could create a task list for yourself. But you're not going to be able to easily set that up so that others can see and share those items with you. And that's the key difference. Outlook is an application that you need another server or a service in order to be able to utilize it to its full potential. Same is true with the Exchange Server. If you don't have Outlook, the things you're going to be able to do with the Exchange Server are really pretty much limited to email and maybe some calendaring functions of another software program. So for example, you could set up a program such as Thunderbird to utilize the Exchange Server for email services, but that's about where it ends. And I hope as we go along, you'll understand more about what the Exchange Server does for Outlook as we get into Outlook and I show you some of these features. So to sum up, we introduced the video series and I differentiated Outlook, the client application, and the Exchange Server, which is a communication server that allows us to use Outlook to do all the things that Outlook can do.